guys and welcome to your favorite fashion, beauty and lifestyle news show 360 Daily. I might sound a little bit nasal on this episode but that's only because my allergies and this time of the year don't really go hand in hand. But first off, I'm going to let you know who Marc Jacobs has announced as the face of the brand for 2019. Also on this episode, find out which South African media personality has announced that she's expecting twins. Find out who our social media star of the day is, why Nicki Minaj is being sued, and last but definitely not the least, find out who Burberry has named the face of their hair fragrance. All this and so much more on this brand new episode of 360 Daily. Kicking off the show with what's trending, South African media personality Luthando Shosha has announced that she is expecting twins. She took to Instagram to share the amazing news, posting a picture of her huge baby bump and saying that she didn't know how to react when she found out that she was having twins. She captioned the picture, it's a phenomenal time to be me, God and my ancestors came together to bless me. I used to think that I was really cool, but now that I'm having twins, I even think I'm way cooler. She's obviously super excited and so are we, so congratulations to you. Next up on What's Trending, rapper Cardi B was surprised with a Lamborghini truck by her husband, Offset. And to be honest, how he gave her the present is what has some people excited because I wouldn't have been excited for this type of drama to have ensued before I got a present. Now, apparently Cardi B had gotten a call while she was in Atlanta that Offset had fainted. So she took a first flight out and she was apparently crying and praying for two hours only for her to get home and for Offset to surprise her with a Lamborghini truck. She captioned a picture on Instagram saying that she is happy and mad at the same time because she was crying and praying for two hours, but she loves her lamp truck. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of these kind of surprises. Like, you can't tell me that you're fit. You better, no, it's time for you to really fit. Next up in What's Trending, award-winning author and activist Ngozi Chimamanda Adichie in a recent interview with BBC News spoke in Pijing about what feminism means to her. Every woman with a bomb for this world, they equal to every man with a bomb for this world. Simple. Now the people we know won't make women equal. We could talk, say, yeah, feminist, that person we won't kill man. I don't to get time for that kind of argument. Because I won't make me begin to talk about real things, like woman fit inherit property. Uh, if some if you marry your husband, your husband died, you can't talk say you be widow. Then your husband and brother will come take your property. Why? Uh Chimamanda really put feminism in a simple form and we absolutely love our faith. Next up in what's trending, Ashley Graham lands another major campaign as the face of Violetta's Mango Fall Winter 2018 collection. In this campaign shot in Barcelona, Spain by Gianpaolo Zagura, the beautiful model is seen posing in different outfits ranging from dressy to casual and active wear. She's also seen dancing in short film that is produced for the campaign. She looks absolutely amazing in both fashion. Next up on What's Trending, after model and artist Lauren Tsai posted her pictures of her collaboration with Marc Jacobs on Instagram last Wednesday, the real pictures and the final edits from her collection have finally been released. These pictures feature her revealing her dark fantasy inspired work she did for the brand. Now this collection is set to feature launch box shaped handbags, backpacks, hoodies and tees. Now the color palette ranges from black to royal blue to hot pink and even features some pastel. Some of the accessories and apparel in this collection will feature artwork from the artist Lauren Tsai. It's an amazing collaboration, so fashion lovers, this one is definitely for you. And last but not the least, in what's trending, Mark Dayton, who is the governor of Minnesota of the United States, has announced that October 6th is officially Whiskey Day. Now, the day has been set aside to honor Whiskey. Now, I think this is really interesting because he's actually being honored because Whiskey has contributed so much to the culture and is one of the most influential African artists. Now, some of the achievements that he has made in the past couple of years include being number one on the Billboard charts with his song with Drake called One Dance. He also sold out a few halls across the world and that is pretty amazing. 
So, if you're wondering if there was ever a holiday for Wizkid, October 6th. First off, in sports, Justin Bieber and his crew were seen in the bushes somewhere in the Lake Hollywood district of Los Angeles. They were apparently rapping about Jesus Christ and the King, and they were apparently walking down a hill and singing praises to Jesus when some TMZ paparazzi stopped them. Now, the paparazzi offered to drop his own bars, and Justin Bieber sized him up and said that he looked like or he probably would sound like he was from the Tupac and Biggie era before the paparazzi decided to drop his own bars. Pretty interesting encounter with Justin Bieber. That's all I'm going to say about this one. Next up in Spotted, the Houston Police Department has launched an internal investigation after one of their police officers was seen taking pictures of a woman's butt at a Drake concert. Now, in a viral video of another concert goer posting the policeman, he was just standing some yards away from this woman and snapped away at the woman's backside. Now, after he finished taking a series of pictures and even making videos, he then decided to inspect his work. I think this is a really pervy thing that a lot of guys do, and it's actually not okay. So, learn from this guy, please. Thanks. First off, in beauty, Burberry is celebrating London with its brand new eau de perfume scent called Her. Now, the perfume was designed by French luxury perfumer Francis Kajan, and he developed a fruity floral fragrance, which is described as something that has a lot of character, but also hints at the bustling and hustle of London City. Now, the fragrance opens with a mix of berries, including blueberry, blackberry, raspberry, and any other berry you can possibly think of. The base notes for this fragrance are musk and amber. For the campaign shots by Jug and Teller, Cara Delvine is seen in some of the most iconic spots in London. The model is even featured singing the campaign song, Maybe It's Because I'm a Londoner. Next up in beauty, buying beauty brands from scratch is a rare event for L'Oreal because they generally don't like to start from the groundwork, they just generally like to acquire brands that already exist. But this year, they decided to do something different and they went ahead to create three brands. The brands comprise of Seed Photonutrients, which is a natural nutrients-based product that is set to market in the US. Next up, they started House 99, which is a men's skincare line that they partnered with David Beckham. And the latest today, they launched La Provencial Bio. Now, La Provencial Bio is set to feature in the organic beauty market, and last year, it was recorded that in Paris, there were over 7% increase in the sale of organic beauty products, and the French beauty organic market is worth an apparent 480 million euros. So they are creating this product to target the French market. Now this product is set to feature high levels of vitamin C serum and everything else in between that will help maintain perfect skin. Now the products in this skincare line range from shower gels to deodorants and so much more. And last but not least, in beauty, Marc Jacobs has announced that Lila Moss is the face of the brand for 2019. Marc Jacobs Beauty has announced that Kate Moss's daughter, Lila Moss, is the face of the brand for 2019. The first collection she'll be the face of is set to drop in February while she launches their spring collection. Now, this creative direction is going to be done by Katie Grant, and she will literally join a host of other famous faces like Adwa Abwa, Kai Gerber, and so much more that have been the face of Marc Jacobs. Next up, our social media star of the day is Isabel Bedoya. She is a beauty influencer with 2.1 million followers on Instagram, and it's her brightly colored hair in rainbow hues that sets her apart from the pack. First off in editorials, Hollywood actor Yara Shahidi, who is rewriting history with General Z, family at the center, is on the cover of the November issue of LUK. Yara Shahidi is popularly known for her political sensibility, and she talks about that and so much more, including her break and everything that motivates her in the magazine spread. Next up in editorials, let's take a moment to just take in the absolute beauty of Nicki Minaj on this Harper's Bazaar cover. Nicki Minaj is the cover star for Harper's Bazaar Vietnam and she looks absolutely amazing. Photographed by Greg Swills, the US rapper does no wrong. 
Next up in editorial, you have to agree with me that Tracy Ellis Ross definitely invented color and she definitely invented the color pink. She is the cover star for the latest edition of Insta Magazine and she looks absolutely amazing and she definitely deserves it because it is also the best dress edition. The Grownish star talks about her professional and personal life and talks about how she absolutely loves life as it is. First off, on the Daily Dish, this is one of those news where we're not sure if we're happy or we're sad, but you can let me know when you hit me up on social media with the handle Spice TV Africa. But let me give you the gist first. It seems like rapper Kanye West has deleted his social media yet again. Now, I'm saying yet again because back in May of 2017, Kanye West actually deleted his social media when he was trying to just gain some attention. Now, Kanye West has been known to do a lot of things to gather attention, like wearing the Make America Great hat as well as a Colin Kaepernick shirt. Kanye West is always doing really interesting things, and to be honest, I'm happy that he's no longer on social media because he actually often does the most. Next up on The Daily Dish, whenever a superstar is doing a pop-up or selling some merch, you never ever expect that they're selling cereal. Afrofusion star Bonner Boy announced via his Twitter that he is launching his own cereal puffs. He also said that there are only 50 in the entire world and people on social media are speculating because Bonner is popular for constantly being a mar marijuana aficionado. People on social media are wondering if these cereal puffs are marijuana infused. I don't think Bonner Boy has replied but I think it's a pretty good look for Bonner Boy. Next up on the Daily Dish, this is some news that we definitely did not see coming. Nigerian, no, Ghanaian, but we've accepted him as Nigerian actor, Chris Atto, is married to his American sweetheart, Betty Jennifer. He shared pictures on social media and he seemed pretty excited because he said things are suddenly clearer. We are super, super excited for Chris. And even though people were trying to make this about him and his ex-wife, Damila Jigbita, I think people need to stop doing that and focus on the fact that he just shared amazing news. Next up on The Daily Dish, following months of deliberation, Brett Kavanaugh has actually been confirmed as the Supreme Court judge. Now, this is after a woman came forward and said that he sexually assaulted her when she was a teenager. Now, it's really unfortunate because the Senate actually voted 50 to 48, which, to be honest, I don't know what that says about the American Senate. But as expected, US President Donald Trump was super excited for the pick, and he commented that he cannot wait to sign the commission appointment. I hope that, um, I'm praying for America. And last but not the least, on the Daily Dish, our favorite female American rapper is in the news again for something a little bit controversial. Now, rapper Nicki Minaj is being sued by a former member of her glam squad, Maha Dridi. Now, apparently, for 2017 Paris Fashion Week, Maha had pulled a bunch of designer outfits and even paid a certain amount of money to rent these outfits and style Nicki Minaj for Paris Fashion Week. Now, this obviously did amazing things for Maha's career because it is literally what made him famous. Now, the issue here is that apparently Nicki Minaj never returned those outfits and in return, he hasn't been able to return the outfits that he got from the person he pulled them from. Now, this has caused him to be sued by the renters to the tune of $74,000. Now, apparently, he's been trying to reach Nicki Minaj to get the clothes back, but hasn't gotten a response. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say about this, but I can't imagine doing work for someone as big as Nicki Minaj must be so painful to do work for somebody so big and be struggling to pay a bill that is literally almost next to nothing for that celebrity and also bearing in mind that that celebrity could actually afford to buy those clothes. I hope that j gets out of this on top because it's pretty, pretty messy. First off in Spicy or Not, we're talking about Mr. Easy dropping the visuals for his song Keys to the City. Now this comes at the perfect time because we're now gearing up properly for the 2019 election. The video is directed by Meiji Alabi, so hit me up on social media. Let me know what you think. Is this video spicy or not? Okay, 
Next up in Spicy or Not, DJ Copy teams up with musical duo Skooky for the song Work. Mommy, work, work, work. Mommy, work, work, work. Now, the video is directed by Unlimited LA, and to be honest, when this video dropped on social media, it's gotten a lot of mixed reviews. I personally think that the song is very catchy, catchy, to be honest. I think it's very catchy. Oluwa copy me, I got the green light, baby. I mean, like, copy, I don't think copy is trying to win a Grammy with this her music thing. So I think people need to actually cut her some slack. But hit me up on social media. Let me know what you think. Is it spicy or is it not? Copy in a Rari. Tell me where you want to go. Oluwa copy me, I got the green light, baby. And in movie trailers, Indivisible is a 2018 American film based on a true story of Ami Chaplin, Darren Turner, and his wife, Heather. Divorce has filed in the last three months. The soldiers losing families and having nothing to go home to is not the stabilizing force we need around here. Really? Just let me mess with other people's lives, just part of your job description or something. I mean, kind of. Okay, well, my marriage is none of your business. After battle has etched scars onto their hearts, they're on to fight another battle which is to save their marriage. One marriage, one family under God. The movie features Justin Bruin, Tiamari and more. Brown have laid their snares. And along the path, they have set traps to catch me. You are my strong deliverer. Right. Yep. You shield my head in the day of battle. Yep. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right, guys, that's it for today's episode of 360 JD. Big shout out to you guys for tuning in. But don't forget, if you want to find out more about fashion, beauty, or lifestyle, don't hesitate to visit our website at www.myspice.tv or our social media handle, which is Spice TV Africa across all platforms. If you want to keep up with me and how I be working, Olua Valonini, <laughs> my handle is Valerie.ek on Instagram. Until next time, this has been Spice TV's Premier Show 360 Daily. Have an amazing day.